Okay, so why were you emailing me uh, for a Zoom meeting? Well, I don't know whose meeting it was. She did. She requested the meeting in your name. So I don't know exactly uh, who was supposed to be there, you or her. I'm just responding out of politeness. No, I'm looking at the email right now on my screen. And it says that I have been invited, I'm invited to a Zoom meeting in progress now. That was 23 minutes ago. So that means you sent that well, out. Well, uh, I was not able to make your meeting 23 minutes ago. I was involved in something else. I do have other commitments. So out of, re out of respect to her, I was just responding to see what urgency it was. Now, if you'd like to reschedule, that's fine. But uh, I didn't want to ignore it. Uh, well, that's Tuesday. That That's why we leave that for every Tuesday. So people can't make it, you know, that Tuesday something came up, you can come afterward. Okay. But it's well, every Tuesday, you know. every Tuesday is the day. Well, well that, that's fine. But uh, what, I, what I'm basically looking at is um, I did have a chance to do some research on your establishment. One of the things I did have a big question on, so we wouldn't waste our time and your time would be that SF-181, why would the government give us that form to fill out to free ourselves when he was the one that got, him, got us in the predicament we was in? I was told that that form itself does nothing for you. And, and who I told wondered, you that? Well, after go, listening to another chief, <coughs> another chief who was speaking. And who, which and, chief? What's the chief's name? Uh, I'm not going to get into the person's well, name. Well, if you're not going to get into that person's name, then let, let's be for real here. You're going to take what they said. I said, well, what did they say? It's about what being I'm fair. What is that I was told that the government wouldn't give us a form. And who's the chief? I can, I can accept that. I read up on this. Not necessarily the person told me. Well, then why, then why are you bringing it up if it's not necessary? I researched the form. I discovered it was a government form. Yes. And in my mind, I framed the conclusion that why would the government be giving us a form to free ourselves when they got us in this predicament? And that's what I wanted to pose to you. Yeah, and I'm not going to answer that question. You can tell me who's the chief that says not to do the form. No, the chief didn't say not to do the form. I confided in them about this form, and they were not, they were not in agreement with that form. I can accept that. So who's the chief? Yeah. It doesn't matter who the chief was. Well, who. if it doesn't matter, then, then there's no point. Why am I obligated to answer your question? Because it was a group of people. And all I'm trying to find out is where did you get the concept that that form was supposed to be something we filled out? I never saw anything in writing that said that we were supposed to fill that form out. And where did you get it from is what I wanted to ask you. Yeah, I'm not answering your question until you tell me who's the chief. We have to be fair about this. Well, we are being fair. I'm not. A, I'm not a small person. I don't dibble and dabble. And he say, she say. I said the general consensus was, uh, they were telling me I'm running around to fill out a form that was created by the government. Yes, and who is? I and I. I totally get your position. What I'm saying though is, if we really want to say, okay, let's get to the bottom of this. Who was the one that said? You don't need to do this, or they're not in agreement okay, with let it. Me, let me tell you this. If I sat here and collaborated with all the people that were against me filling this form out, we would probably be here all night. I'm not so, asking about all the people. I'm asking about one not, individual. You said a issue. chief, and you're telling me that's not relevant. And I'm saying, so, well, what I'm to saying be, is it, I'm saying to be that. fair, I've it's been doing this since relevant. two. I've been doing this since 2007. I have put a challenge out to every black scholar, every black scientist, every black uh, physicist, every black anthropologist, every black psychiatrist, okay. psychologist, and I've asked them one okay. simple question. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on a second. I've asked them one simple question. Does black have standing at law? No, no, you sent me the email and I'm responding to it. Now you don't want to d d deal with that. I'm like, fine. And you're having Asa send those emails to me. And on your, her behalf, when she sent them, I was responding. What I'm saying is that I don't have time to play games. And if your organization are doing a lot of needless things. We're not organization. We're a nation. So let's okay. get that clear. 
Okay. None of these people out here, not the black, not NAACP, not the Moorish Science Temple, not Farrakhan, not Nation of Islam, not the Black okay, Panthers. Go back again. Hold on a second. Let me finish, please. Let me finish, please. I don't please. Hear about Farrakhan, all those people. I'm no, this is relevant. This is relevant to your question. When we talked last, you said there was this form, SF-180, SF-181. I went and researched it. I pulled the form up. Yes. You sent me to the Facebook to get instructions for how to fill it out. There no, I didn't tell you to get instructions on how to fill out the, uh, uh, fill it out. I gave you, I gave you my videos to watch. I said, come, you will get put on the list. And you said, I said, when you get put on the list, then you will be sent an email which will have a caveat, a now time screensaver. You got those, right? When I got those those particular videos, I was explaining to the young lady that some of them that she sent me, because she followed up with some additional, I looked at all the ones you sent me, and I okay. waited for hers. When I tried to open hers, I could not get in there, and when I did open them up, eventually it was something else, and I asked her, was these sent by mistake? I didn't get any response, and, you know, I kept emailing her back saying, try to see if you can open them. So when I didn't get any response, I said, well, it's not for me, and I walked away from it. But I did get the form and, and had a t chance to go through the form, and then when someone asked me, why are you filling that form out? I said, well, this is a form that will give us status again. And then the whole consensus of the group was, if that was the case, the government created that form, why would he be creating a form to give you to free yourself? And it made sense to me. Okay. And that posed a question to you. Okay, and I'm saying whoever the chief was, and that's relevant because I've been doing this since 2007. And I've stated this, uh, if you've watched any of the videos which I gave you the links for, one thing people seem to forget is every one of you all have a social security number. That's a contract. And by you saying that that's you on that social security number, you are saying you're their property. Now, the biggest issue has been the Dred Scott decision of 1857 and the Dred Scott, uh, the descendants of Dred Scott and the uh, descendants of the Justice Tawney family had a, uh, what they call a reconciliation over the Dred Scott decision uh, that they did out in Annapolis uh, last year. Now, the problem with that is the Tawney family are the descendants of this Supreme Court chief judge. And they are saying we are in disagreement with the decision our ancestor made. That is weak. It's pointless because their contract, they are civilians. Their ancestor was part of that American judiciary. And that was a decision that was made. That decision has not been overturned. When we look at Barack Obama going on the Tom Joyner morning show saying the word black has no standing at law and that has not been changed, the Brown versus Board of Education hasn't helped. So what we're looking at here is the Dred Scott decision, even as we're speaking now, has not been overturned by the Supreme Court. It stayed there. The uh, Supreme Court Justice Scalia, before he was assassinated, had made statements publicly on MSNBC as well as Texas A&M about the fact that the Constitution is a dead document. And he even elaborated, he said, we see children coming to the uh, Supreme Court to visit on field trips and the teachers are telling them that the Constitution is a living document. And he said, it's not a living document, it's dead. So where does this put black people in relation to contract, their existence in this system, and the SF-181? Very simple. Hold on, let me finish. You're asking me? Let, hold on, let, no, let me finish, please. Hold on, excuse me, let me finish, hold on. Listen, you asking me to explain? Can you please let me finish? When you say contract, what do you mean contract? What do I mean by contract? Because the Africans was not allowed to enter into any contract. That was forbidden for any African or slave. Which law? Show me. No, no, no. 
The no, you made the law, statement. I'm answering it. Show me the law. Is that the this contract you said that they enter into? It couldn't have been to enter any contract because it was against the law for them to enter into any contract. Give me the law. Yeah, Which contract? Even with any, even with any institution of marriage, they really weren't allowed to enter into any contract because they could not be held responsible. For Can you give me the law? That's what I'm asking. It, it, it's in the law. Yeah, it's give a, me the law. It's actually in the Constitution where it says that the reason why uh, Dreskot couldn't actually have his case heard was because they had to look at jurisdiction if they had jurisdiction. Over no. It. No, what it was was the dis that decision was so, Scott had, didn't had, have Dred Scott had, did not have standing. They, they said he didn't even had, have standing to sue. The courts had standing. Pardon? They want, it was a real question about whether or not there was ju judicial if they had judicial uh, rights to hear that case if he was a citizen. He wasn't found to be a citizen. Agreed. That's why that's why he lost that case. Because he didn't have standing. Because he had no standing. But they did Agreed. Have, was he a member of the political community? That he he couldn't be because according according to them, the Constitution... They weren't, they weren't concerned about status. They were concerned no, about... No, no. They said according to them, America. the Constitution is for quote-unquote white people. According right. to them. And because he had no... Had, had no citizenship they weren't supposed to hear it but they came back to the decision that because he crossed that virginia area into missouri the laws now change that they now try him on the basis of those laws and that's where they came in at looking at those laws but in, in reality the the, the the truth still stands that that case was not overturned and he lost both times and it was his um, slave master's children who actually financed that whole lawsuit and in addition they came back and wanted to buy him from his mother. His mother was then ready to sell so she sold Dred Scott's family and his two daughters to uh, her, her siblings and the siblings were the ones that allowed him to go free. So, in reality, we know that that's a dead document, but my question is, is that how is, the, how is the government now saying, okay, we know we did wrong, so go and fill this form out, and this will make everything right. I need to see the verbiage that says that this is the form we're going to look at. Well, I need to know who's the chief that said, why are you filling that out? I'm not concerned with anybody else. The chief or whoever the individual was, because if it was Hemok give you the name because this same scenario came up in his group and, and so what's his group up. what is the group in, in one of the settings where he was speaking and someone asked uh you know about the form and then he said why would you be filling that form out when in fact it was the government that got you in this mess why are they going to create a way of escape for you by giving you a form yeah who's the who's the, the chief who's the chief that said this i can answer that that's easy I need to know okay, who's well, the and, chief was. You said you could answer it. Yeah, but okay. who's the chief that made the statement? Because then I can show you when I answer the question you know why? what he's I'm omitting. Because it would be hearsay because it was passed to me at, in another conversation he was having with somebody else that had the same question I had. Yeah, so who's the chief? Well, it, it doesn't really matter. Who's well, the chief then there's no point in me answering the question. So, you can well, believe what you want to believe. That, that form... When you got it, did somebody send you, uh, Congress send you a letter and say, hey, this is... Nobody the sent me that, that form. Okay, how did you get it? I mean... How did I do what? How did you get that form? And who I was you? looking, I was doing research and looking for something else, and I found that. Now, you watched my uh, uh, weekly address number 47, correct? Yes. Okay, and I spent an hour on... That was the very first question from a sister. She used to be a DJ... On a major radio jazz station, soft, easy rock, listening, etc. And she was the one who asked me, well, why do we need to fill it out? What's the importance of filling the form out for? Correct? Mm -hmm. So I spent the hour uh, explaining that to her. And generally speaking, if someone listens to weekly address number 47, and they still don't get the importance of why they need to um, 
uh, fill the form out, then that individual is mentally dead. They're ignoring the fact that Barack Obama said when he was called the first black president of the United States, which he I, is I not, which he is not, the first black president was John Hansen. I know that. Okay, and, and he's also on the back of the $2 bill, which you probably know. So, uh, black people have a responsibility to not just accept somebody that's put in front of them to make them feel good and say, oh, he's the first black president of the United States. No, he never was. That was John Hansen. So when Barack is on the Tom Joyner morning show and he's being told that, um, Tom, I don't consider myself black, the first black president, because the word black has no standing at law. I understand that. Okay, great. Now, the next issue is, which I was talking about before, because of the uh, fraudulence <clears throat> of this system, and people are speaking English, I've uh, made it a point for five-day comment number 109. I'm not sure if you saw that one yet or not. If not, you should. Now, with five-day comment number 109, white, when it's translated into Old English, it is pronounced black in the Old Anglo-Saxon. Mm -hmm. So when the, the U.S. government has defined race, black as a person having origins in any of the black racial groups of Africa, which I've asked all the black scholars, black civil rights, black this, black that, black teachers, black educators, black congressional, black caucus, can you please tell me or name for me a black racial group of Africa. And they all agree there is no such thing. Beautiful. Hold on, let me finish, please. Let me finish. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let me finish, please. Thank you. Next is white. White is defined as a person having origins in the original peoples of Europe, which is named after an Ethiopian princess. The middle, excuse me, I'm, I'm speaking, please. I'm speaking, excuse me, I'm speaking, please. The Middle East, which is Northeast Africa, and then Africa, which is North Africa. So now, on that integrated post-secondary education data system, which is put up by the National Center for Education Statistics, at the bottom of that webpage, it is endorsed by the U.S. Department of Education. There is an affiliate organization called ACRO, which is in 40 countries using the same definitions for race. The Center for Disease Control in Atlanta uses the same definitions. So now when we go to the U.S. Census, they said they get their racial data based on self-identification. So the government, the corporation, is allowing black slash African American people and everybody else identify what race they want to be. They don't recognize black because there's no groups in Africa at all. I accept that. Agreed. So why are black people in Africa? Why are black? Why are African American? I understand that. That's agreed. So we can agree. So my point is, why is Sonnetir, Roland Martin, Tavis Smiley, Maxine Waters, why are all these black people calling themselves black or African American, Benjamin Crump, who's the president of the National Bar Association, Malik Shabazz, who's an attorney, uh, John Lewis. Why are these po black politicians, these boule, saying black and African American and telling the children to say that and call themselves that when commercially, legally, internationally, black is not a race, a people, a land, a language, a culture. It's nothing. Okay, now let me insert something. You were lost at one time. You were not always found. I was lost. and we That's not the point it. about whether I'm lost, whether I was lost. The point stop. is I'm not black. The, hold on a second. The, the, the point is I am not black. I'm not African American. I am white and I am indigenous. Excuse me. I understand that. Okay, so what's the problem? My father's 
were first was first descended into the Asiatic uh, indigenous man. So I understand it. But I'm saying, even though I had that knowledge, I knew that and was raised Asiatic from a Native American perspective. I knew that, but however is what I'm saying, I was lost just like you were lost. Those people have to come into consciousness and right standing. Sometimes they're not always at the same level, but when we gain this information, we reach back and give it in a form uh, of some type of documentation to bring them up to par. So that doesn't mean that they weren't headed down the right path. They just had the wrong terminology. And for and all intents and purposes, we know Jesse Jackson wanted to do right by us, but in his effort to do right, he gave us a name. No, he didn't. Jesse he Jackson was a government name. informant. Bump that. That Jesse okay. Jackson. I don't know was, anything about him. I do. You don't, I do. That's what I'm talking about. Jesse Jackson set up Martin Luther King. Dick yes, Gregory revealed that, that, and so did Stephen Coakley. So let's okay. cut the crap well, already. Jesse Jackson is an agent. He is not concerned with black people. African He's not concerned with African Americans. Jesse Jackson is concerned with himself. That's possible, true. No, not possible. That is because when he coined the phrase African American, he was the first one that said for black people to cut their hair. That's why the afros and all the natural hairstyles are gone. Stuff on that. What I'm saying, I know that. Okay, so what's the point? What I'm saying, they they gave us that name, not knowing how it would. Over, I understand that, but we're past that. This was done in 1997. Is the fact that Hold on a second. We're 1997 is when the OMB changed race and ethnicity. Jesse Jackson was running for president somewhere around that time. So here we are, 21 years later. 21 years later, and black people are still calling themselves black. The Amorites or the so-called Caucasians, they know that we're actually the real Caucasians. We are actually the real white people. You must understand we're dealing with some illiterate people who don't care. I comprehend that. I'm not concerned with the dead. I'm concerned with the living amongst the dead. I mean, give me my fair time of talking. We're not communicating. You talk. And yeah, you, and you like to jump in when I'm speaking, so then when I do it back to you, you don't like that. Talk when I'm talking. You ask me not to talk. Not yeah, to and then when I'm still making it, and then okay, when I'm still explaining, you don't ask me. Are you finished, Chief? My statement. I'm you not can keep. You continue to keep talking. I'm not trying to go into a deep dissertation on him. No, but you ask me a question, I'm and I'm answering it the way I want to answer it, and then you start cutting me off. Yet. Don't give me that crap. Understand the etymology of words and how words can damage you. Some of them, some of them have no idea what detriment that that word black. I comprehend that. I, I am one of them that do, but right now is not the time to get tied up in that. What I'm trying to do is say, we fill these forms up, and black people have always been known that there's a bunch of paperwork that they give us, and sometimes nothing happens, but yet. We do this because it's protocol. And I'm asking you, before we go running in, before I go running in to fill out all this paperwork, what am I hoping that will transpire from the process of filling out this paperwork? Well, you listen to five day, uh, to weekly address number 47, now, right? You. No, I know you're asking me, and I'm asking, you did already acknowledge that you listened to weekly address number 47, correct? Yes. Okay, I spent an hour with that sister. Yeah, I'm she, not talking about listen, that. Listen, you see here we go again? I'm, at, you're, I'm sitting there talking. I'm trying to explain my position here for your answer, and now you're not I, I, being objective. I'm a teacher. I have, I have tapes out there, books out there. I don't care about your tapes or books. You're still black. Until you change that contract, you're black. You keep trying to play teacher. Did you go read that material? That's yes. Yes, that's that's my point. Do you know you look adorable when you're angry? I could see you smiling. <laughs> I am not smiling. I am pissed off. I am not smiling. <laughs> This isn't rhetoric and this isn't paperwork. This is a global standard. We have done reports with the UN, inputs, questionnaires. 
Our nation is recognized by Clyde Malefe Sante, uh, pardon me, Malefe Sante, Clyde Ledbetter Jr. in the book Contemporary Studies of Africology and Africana. So, and, okay, and we we did a UPR report on the United States for them violating us, claiming our indigenous standing, living indigenously, asserting our indigenousness. Now, the U.S. Congress did apologize to African Americans. For slavery, which gave... That's what which, I'd like to see. Where's that paperwork? That's HDR 194. That was in for, uh, uh, weekly address number 47. I talk about that. When you talked about the, um, the genocidal paperwork, I was more intrigued to get into that. That's the point we need to be bringing up to some of our hierarchy so they can see that. Who, whose situation. hierarchy are you talking about? Well, if we're going to be trying to educate and bring... People. Okay, that's a valid point. That is a valid point to bring up. We approached Cornell West. He has the documents. He refused to write a letter of endorsement. We approached Dr. Cress Welsing. It was put in her hand before she did one of her last lectures at Howard University. She refused... When, and then she got asked the question, why are we calling ourselves black? We should not be calling ourselves black. She starts squirming in her chair. Uh, Isaiah Washington told Tavis Smiley we should stop calling ourselves black and African American. Even Umar Johnson said we should not be calling ourselves African American. We are in the international decade for people of African descent. And so there is what's called a program of activities that all the countries agreed to implement as it relates to peoples of African descent. And that includes those, hold on, hold on a second, let me finish please. Hold on a second, hold on a second. So that includes those who are what called Native American, because the original Native American were African. Uh, David Imhotep, who wrote the book, The First Americans Were Africans, I spoke with him on the phone for five hours and he won't do it. So I understand that these black intellectuals they are not concerned, they don't care about their so-called black or African-American people because they already know the truth that if we tell them they're actually white, they're Choctaw, Cherokee, Chickasaw, Iroquois, etc., they know they're going to reject it. So they said, okay, well, we'll feed them this garbage and some of them will see higher, bring them in, and instead they're not telling the full story. So I've already done that. I've put challenges out to the, the, the black intellectuals, Nikki Giovanni, uh, Angela, um, uh, not Angela uh, Davis, uh, from the Black Panthers, Asata Shakur. I put a challenge out to every black intellectual on the planet to defend black or African American and defend it. They can't defend it because they know it doesn't exist. So that is what's stifling the development of the future generations because the people who have the wherewithal to make the changes they're not acknowledging it because the first thing they're concerned about well if I tell you this I can't make money I can't exist in this system so that means they're totally still under slavery programming I have a question I'd like yes to ask. wouldn't it be to our benefit if somehow we have a closed meeting with the African Americans involved so that we can set the record straight and we don't look like fools out here when someone does get ready to bring some attention to our forms that we're sending in. We don't want to appear to be divided because if they say, well, those niggers don't know what they're doing. They're not even in agreement with themselves or what they want to call themselves. So maybe if we can set precedence by having a national uh, convention and say, we're setting precedence here. Whatever you go on calling to yourself is your business. But this is set in writing and it is a bylaw that we will adhere to. So that we are not appearing to be divided amongst ourselves and we got some chiefs over here saying this and some chiefs saying that. Then, then that's how we've always been and we've destroyed our own selves through our division. And that's what I'm saying, that I don't want to be caught up into this group is right over here or that group is right over here. I'm like, okay, I thought we all heard this message at the same time and we know that we got to take black off of us because we have no standing at law. And we also know that there is a category that covers the European and the Asian and the Northern African that we can all agree to 
use which will better our status. Yeah. So that kind of meeting needs to be going forth. You can't make everybody agree to everything in small groups, but when you have that national meeting and you have some support behind you, you can say, this is what's standing here. This is what's in writing. This is our new Bill of Rights. Um, so, uh, we or oh, That's what the Tuesday... That's why I, dev I devote my whole Tuesday, every Tuesday. I've been doing this for over a year. Every Tuesday. People can call me before the webinar and ask questions. People can come on the webinar. That's what we're doing. We have an attorney from the state of New York who already went through our indigenous standing process. She just got her certificate. We've got another brother. He's in Hollywood. He got his certificate. We've got teachers who are just finishing up. We've got we've got uh, educators. We've got all sorts of people. Pardon? What certificate are you referring to? The indigenous standing process certificate that we give people when they finish doing the indigenous standing process organization. yes because all the black groups that you're making reference of of having a national platform the problem with them is they're domestic they're not international they don't have standing at law domestically so they don't have standing at law internationally i just did a report to the un that's going to be published amongst the many reports that we have done so black people are not in the position to dictate the terms of their freedom Either you, either they come on. They don't. They're, they're, those other groups are, are are federal. They're not international. You're the only one that's international. We're international. We're not. We're we're international. Like I said, NAACP, uh, the National uh, Black Trial Lawyers Association, uh, all these black associations, they are all domestic. They are property. They are wards of the United States government. So the government apologized. The government knows you all are not black. They know you're not African American. Some of y'all are more Native American than the people that are under the Bureau of Indian Affairs. But the thing is, you have to get someone who's international. This is what Malcolm X talked about, that they were planning to put together a petition and present it to the United Nations about all the atrocities they did against the Negro. I understand what you're talking about with the language use. That's what we knew at the time, back in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. Now, I, when you look at the form... And the iPads, it says they cha did this in 1997. And then in 2000, they allowed, uh, 2010 census, they allowed people to self-identify. So you can pick any of those categories or all of them, excuse me, on the SF-181. But, okay. the, pro but the problem came in, people, I put it out there to flood the internet. And I said, okay, this should be simple enough. People were messing it up. They weren't following the instructions. OMB says we do not want this sent to us via mail. It has to be faxed. So I said, okay, to stop this from endangering people who were coming afterward to make it terrible, I said, I'm the first one in 2007 to do it. Nobody can predate me. Nobody who's ever who's even talking about the SF-181 is qualified because they're not international. I can contact anybody at the yeah, UN. I can put... Re hold on a second. Let me finish, please. I, I can contact and put reports, shadow reports, anything at the UN. So what we said is, I said, I made the decision. I'll donate a Tuesday, all day Tuesday. I've been doing it for over a year now. That people can come in, claim their indigenous standing, change their commercial status, get standing at law. And now you're seeing little things of like Tiffany Haddish says she's white on paper. Waka Flocka says he's not black, he's not African American. You got Monique now complaining because she only got 500k, whereas uh, Amy Schumer got 11 million. And I said, look, the thing is, and th this is even what was talked about by... Um, Sophia Stewart, who wrote The Matrix, she said, Hollywood does not want to deal with you black people. They don't mind taking your idea to make money, but they don't want to do business with you. The brother who wrote the script for the movie Avatar, we spoke with him. He was suing um, James Cameron and his production company, and he has all his receipts to show that James Cameron got the script and the idea for Avatar from him. He's got all his registered mail receipts and everything. Now we spoke with him because we had a brother at the time that knew him. And he was trying to tell him, hey, 
come through because we were sending a box of complaints to the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights at the UN in Geneva. So we spoke with them to say, hey, come in, we'll show you how to get it done, get your SF-181, and then c include your complaint in our box of complaints that we send to Zaid Al Hussein, who's the uh, Commissioner for the Office of the High Commission for Human Rights. So this way, we now have the guy who wrote Avatar. We don't, people, so don't say we got him. We thought he was going to overstand what this was, and he still wanted to do it domestically. So we said, okay, he's not getting that black has no standing at law. And he wanted to bring up Constitution and other things. And we said, look, you have to have standing first before they'll even hear you. If you don't have the standing, what you say commercially, legally, they can ignore. Chief uh, Nanye. The certificate that you are giving at the close of co completion of all the SF-181 and all the forms, this certificate, has it been registered anywhere? No, it doesn't need to be registered because it doesn't need, it doesn't need to be registered because the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples says in Article 1, Indigenous Peoples have the right to self-determination. People who have a Facebook uh, slave name that they use, they can use our certificate and Facebook will change it because Facebook is worldwide. They know about the UNDRIP, the ADRIP, the UN Charter. So the... Change their what? Their names? Yeah. So like, for example, you have Cher Cheryl M. Garth. So if you picked an indigenous name like, you know, Blueberry Tulip, they would change it to that because they know about that. Furthermore, let's not forget... Pope Francis came to the U.S. He was the first pope to address Congress. And he even, before that, he apologized to the indigenous peoples of the Americas because of that 1492-1493 papal bull of Alexander, Pope Alexander VI. Is that in writing somewhere where I can read that? Yeah, you can go Google it. Pope, all you have to do is, it's called the Intercetera, that's in Latin. But just put a papal bull 1493 and it will come up. And they by the ter terra nullius, meaning nobody's land. That's how they claim from Alaska down to Argentina, ignoring the fact we were already here. So when Pope Francis came, he apologized, he had already apologized and he addressed Congress and said, in the words of Martin Luther King, he said, we have, um, uh, he said, we have uh, uh, been given a promissory note and now it is time for us to honor the promissory note. So that is key words for the indigenous, which is you, that you all have to get your commercial standing in order to make claims. Now the US government apologized and said in HDR 194, we acknowledge we robbed African Americans of their names and their heritage. So they're saying, but you gotta read in between the lines, trafficking laws to traffic us as well so no but yeah but before we get to that they said we acknowledge we robbed them of their names and their heritage which means you can claim your name and your heritage so the UN declaration on the rights of indigenous people says we have the right to assert we have the right to self-determination we have the right to maintain our cultural heritage everything so the issue that we're having right now is well we're not having an issue but what when the question you're asking and, and it's valid What's happening is all the so-called black power groups, the black positive groups, all buy black, this black, all that nonsense are ignoring the fact that internationally they know you all are the Native American. They've already done the genetics to know that your haplotype is indigenous to the Americas. That's the Caribbean, North and South America. There are some of us that were brought over who mixed in that we know that. But the majority of African, so-called African Americans, are indigenous to the Western Hemisphere, which right. means the Bureau of Indian Affairs Indians, like the Cherokee, the Choctaw, the ones who have the casinos, those ones are fraudulent. Mm -hmm. And the government knows this. That's why the, the freedmen are fighting with the Cherokee Nation still, even though there was a decision in their favor. I haven't heard what's happening because the Cherokee Nation still has the right to say they want to kick them out. Land, what's happening to the land that they were just 
uh, debating over that they were going to give to the Catholic churches? No, no, that was the Jesuits. That was the Jesuits were returning what 500. That land? They were re they were returning that. So I put in claims regarding that. So they they said they were going to return some of the lands um, that they had uh, you know illegally taken from our ancestors. So have they given you any land back at all? Pardon? Have they given you and your establishment any land? Well, back? we're not an establishment again. I keep telling you we're, we're a nation. nation. We're a nation. So we are a nation. We have our claims out there and we're making the moves necessary to get our land. Our claims are already there thanks to the UCC. We don't have to have physical possession. Okay. So if there are any other tribes that are uh, setting up a nation, can you collaborate with them? I've been trying. I've been, tr everybody that, I've, like I said, I mentioned the Moorish Science Temple. I mentioned Nation Islam. I've mentioned... Uh, some Yamasi down in Florida, but they want to go under the Bureau of Indian Affairs. I said, well, if you want to be under BIA, we can't work with you because you become their property. This is what a lot of indigenous people don't know. They don't know commercial law. They don't know legalese. They don't know law at, 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 its, at its inception. So they're under the impression that, okay, when we get recognized by the federal government, that's what's important. No, when you get recognized, hold on, hold on. You get recognized by the federal government, you become the federal government's property. Yeah, That's I contrary that to the UN There's Charter. There's another part here that we're not looking at private and being a trust because some of them are actually going under the concept of being a trust. Yeah, and what jurisdiction is the trust under? And, and try, well, they're trying to go up under, um, not, they're going up under private as a trust. Yeah, but so, private under what? Because if there's a dispute with the trust, Someone is going to have to have the authority or the jurisdiction well, to hear they, they the matter. Stop that because they no longer use the administrator that comes with it. They establish one of their members from the tribe to administrate the trust. Yeah, under whose jurisdiction? Under, under, under I guess, international. No, you're guessing. See, you don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's, and this is the point. Everyone that's brought up this, this concept or brought up, well, we're going to put it in a trust that said, what jurisdiction is the trust under? Because if you put it, if you put that under the jurisdiction of a trust of another country, or a country that has some type of reciprocal agreement with the United States, that can defer back to the U.S. And this is the question I've always asked: If it's so airtight, because I know of a tribe that did do that, and they got threatened that if they don't pull it out the trust, they were going to come up and and then kill all the people on the land. This was down in uh, Eatonton, Georgia. So, but again, I overstand at the time an SF-181 was not done. And as I was explaining before, the SF-181, people can get mad all they want. The bottom line is you're holding their contract, their social security number. Some of y'all are getting retirement. Some of you all are getting social security with old age benefits from the same corporation. So anybody who's holding the card is considered what? a federal employee not okay, you hold on hold on not you flesh and blood but the name that's on the card and then on the back of the card it says this card which equals the name is property of social security which brings you to the international monetary fund which puts you underneath the vatican okay so in referencing to all of these agents such as the social security administration if we get our retirement from them are you saying that if we accept this F, uh, FS181, uh, that we have to voluntarily give up our Social Security? No, state? I didn't say that at all. That's what, that what, that's what that I talked about that in Weekly Address 47. Keep concurrently keep that status and do business. No, it's not, our, it's not keeping that status. It's creating what? a separation that what is on paper is artificial. This was what was talked about in Weekly Address number 47, which I hold gave on, you, which you it, said you on. read. So this is the point. Uh, she just walked away for, uh, for a minute. This is the point. 
um, when people start talking about they're poo-pooing the SF-181, I'm like, okay, give me a viable alternative. Give me an actual, a practical solution that is better than the SF-181. None of the people that I've mentioned have been able to do it. None of them. Not Cornell West. They're all stuck on black, and they know damn well black. So that means they have no respect for the black public or the African-American public because they're ignorant. They know they're not going to accept it. So they said they're helping to keep you all enslaved. So people can get mad about the SF-181 all they want. I know they're still collecting Federal Reserve notes. I know they're still doing business. They want them Jordans. They're going to go to work so they can get them Jordans. And they have no problem wearing Jordans from a Caucasian so-called or Amorite who has a, a factory in China and then is importing the shoes using the SSNs as collateral for purchasing the factories and the raw materials. What I was asking you was about the Social Security and our pensions. So because that belongs to the government, the federal government, are you saying that we can No, I didn't say that belongs to them. No. I keep, I keep, I'm very clear and about this. What are, you, what are you referencing to about that? I'm not referencing anything. I'm saying that that is an account that was set up. You're, you are actually a beneficiary, but they're treating you as a trustee making you liable for the debt and anything regarding credits that they are attributing to that account that has to be dispensed with so that doesn't affect anything if anything it'll enhance it one of the advantages your credit the, the credit report uh with the with the slave name is going to go up that's a that's a given that's exactly what's going to happen it's going to go up what do you mean go up it's going to go up Black has no standing at law. Why do you think the black neighborhoods are still run down? The churches are there. The churches do very well. They don't get run down, but the neighborhoods stay run down because yeah, the church is there for the purpose to what, keep what the black to neighborhoods do? down. That's do? the purpose for that. That's the purpose for the churches and the T.D. Jakes's and the Eddie Long's and, okay. the, and the Creflo okay. Dollars and all of them. What do we need to do with our Social Security cards or our pensions that we're receiving? Are you saying Nothing. that? You're saying that we need to report something to the state? You keep putting government? words in my mouth. I don't appreciate that. You what, what, no, what? you're not asking me. You, you're asking now because I made this statement. You're not asking me general questions. You're putting words in my mouth. No, I don't no, appreciate what I'm that. Saying, you mentioned Social Security, and I, and I was wondering, what is this that we're going on and on about Social Security? And I still can't define where does the Social Security pose a problem. I didn't say Social Security posed a problem. You're saying that. No, I'm asking you, does it? Post I didn't problem. say it posed a problem. I said that it does not affect anything. I said, if anything, it will enhance. Because I was talking about the trust, and I indicated that... Uh, you don't know what jurisdiction the trust is, so that until you can define what jurisdiction the trust is, what what jurisdiction it's under, whose authority it's going to agree well, to be, be subject... Hold on, let me finish. Who, who, who it's I going to, to agree take, to... If I wanted to take all of my belongings and create a nation for my own family, see, we can't branch out until you create the nation for your family. And that's what we're... Family in. is servants of a household. And if your family well, wants to family, worship... A family if you're, can't... No, me, I'm giving you the etymology in that. I what I know. Pardon? Okay. What you okay. know is irrelevant. Excuse the me. fact is... Fa the fact is... Fa I'm telling you. The fact is family means servants of a household. I was in a meeting where we discussed you cannot go and jump into a nation until you establish. I don't know what meeting you're in, so that I'm not subject to those restrictions because uh, you won't tell me what meeting was that. You won't tell me who that, the chief is, so I'm not subject to that. It's not about the meeting. It's about what I'm doing. That's that's <laughs> irrelevant. Then what you do is what you're doing. I know my Native American family, and we know who we are, okay? And we've been a tribe. And if we actually would like to establish ourselves as a nation, we can do that. We can take our family, our three families that were brought up together, and bring them together and set up a clan or a nation. And preferably, that's what's best that has to be done. Families have to unite and set up their nation. And in building their nation, they set up a trust. And that trust is not indicative. Who to said to set up a trust, though? I already know this. I'm a paralegal. Okay. Yeah, but who said you had to set up a trust? Our ancestors never cared that's for trust. Let me finish now. And setting up that trust, <laughs> that's set up where I normally would I do my board of directors and become an LLC. I don't want to become an LLC because that puts you into the public. I'm putting myself into the private and becoming a nation. So, so then what, what does this have to do with me? 
Let me explain to you. I, what it has to do with you is that I was told you you better go and work with your family and set your nation up as a family. I knew that because we needed to have the corporate veil and we needed to also have the trust. And in, it, in that trust, we don't get an administrator that they send us. We appoint one of our own members as administrator. And we will have a we will have a nation, and the nation can grow into joining with other nations. What that's did, that still doesn't answer? What does that have to do with me? This is what I don't I comprehend. That, that I wanted to start somewhere small to get my nation of family members together, have them fill out the form, and tell them the necessity of filling that form out to change their status, so they'll have standing in a court of law, and at the same time our nation can grow from state to state. So I don't think it would be wrong to tell someone to start with your family and building a nation because that's really where we should be starting. And yeah. that's how you can reach the people. No, that's not how you'll reach the people because this information, if you listen to Weekly Address number 47, we talk about this information will break families up. And the reason I say that, the word family means servants of a household, not relations. We say all our relations. We don't say family. That's another problem with the English language. The next thing is if the, the subject of trust comes up, again, the issue is who's setting it up, under what jurisdiction, etc. Furthermore, I've been... Hold on. I, hold on a second. I've got... It. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I have experience in this since 2007. There well, is I, nobody, uh, hold on a second, said, there's I nobody, mean, can I finish please? Can I please court. finish? Okay. Can I please finish? Can you be honorable and let me finish? Now, come on now, let's not act like God just gave it all to you. He yeah, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. That's why you you sent, remember, you sent me the link. You sent me the link. to to And it, I just happened to see the email saying, Please join this now, this Zoom meeting in session. So I was like, okay, well, what's this about? Because I was just on a Zoom meeting, so I thought maybe there was a technical error going on. Yeah, it was a technical error. I'm just learning how to use it quick. So you sent that, yeah, and you already have it on recording. So so obviously somebody sh must have showed you how to press the recording button. Well, I can read. I'm, I'm a teacher. I'm a learned person. Okay, agreed. So for now... So the thing is this, now. for now, you said you're learned. So the thing here is this, um, I've been doing this for, for the, for just for do, showing people how to do it properly for a year. There's nobody on Turtle Island more qualified than me, period. All what nations this, have to I come. Admit, is this a fictitious place or is it virtuous? I thought you said that you were a learned person. Has a kalun sulhafat jazur bamul entuk bamul timdik shinu. But 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 I mean I see you in pictures talking about the place, but I don't know if you're physically there. Or what? I'm on Turtle Island. Turtle Island was you call. North, what people know as North America, Canada, the United States, and Mexico, which have been exported to the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. This is Turtle Island we're on. And we have to refer to it as Turtle Island. Referring it to as the state of Illinois, the state of, of Florida, or the state of Oklahoma takes away from the fact that we're already on our land. Martin Luther King was the one. Hold on a second. Martin Luther King. Hold on a second. Martin Luther King was the one that said... That before Plymouth Rock came, we were we know, already here. We know about the reservations. No, no, I'm saying this for posterity. I'm saying this for the Akashic Record. Okay. That's okay. what we I'm know, saying this we for. Know, we know about people being on the reservation. No, this is for people who don't know. So okay. Turtle well, Island is what we are is on. I think we're looking for something different than the reservation because they live in us. I didn't say live on a reservation. Why? That's what you said. The Native Americans, I know my people were sort of like squatters and not really having access to anything but... But what uh, does this have to do with me? I mean, when you tell me you're on Turtle Island, I mean, am I supposed to say, oh, he's in heaven now? Or, or, or where is this, a squatter area? Where is it? 
You said you were learning. So if you don't know where Turtle Island is, I can't help you. The way you picture it, it's almost like you're saying it's an imaginary somewhere in La La Land. No, that's what you're saying. I'm not okay. saying that. But, but, but what are you telling us about this turtle? I, I you see where, okay, you see where the White House is? You know where the White House is, right? Yes. Okay, in Washington, D.C., as they call it, that's Turtle Island. You see where the Sears Tower in Chicago is? That's Turtle Island. You see where um, the uh, Trump Towers? That's Turtle Island. You see where the World Surf? That's Turtle Island. You see Hollywood? That's Turtle Island. Nevada? That's Turtle Island. Ottawa? That's Turtle Island. Toronto? That's Turtle Island. Okay. What can you do on Turtle Island that you can't do on other dry land? That, what you can't do on dry land? Assert yourself because they're using maritime law. That you can't do on other dry land. What's so pertinent about Turtle Island? Well, if you don't know that, then I can't help you. You said you I were mean, learning. But why would we want to be trying to get there? Is it heaven? What do you mean we the try to get there? I mean... No, no, we're, on, we're already standing on it. So if you can't grasp that, I can't help you. You're supposed to be okay. learned and you don't okay, know where Turtle well, Island well, is? Here's what, here's what I'm saying is that... We as a black people, and you haven't turned... I'm not black, so I reject that. So you you're speak for yourself. You're on probation to become white. I'm not on probation to become white, nothing. I've been white since 2007. You ain't there yet. I'm white. Sorry, my dear. I'm white. You might be on probation, but I'm not. I'm the whitest man on the planet. You are because I came from a mixed race. My mother is, is part white, okay? No, your mother is might be part Amorite and cave dweller, but no, no, that's no, what no, that no, probably no. is. I'm white. New Orleans with, with the mixed people. I know where she's from. But what I'm saying is, for all intents and purposes, you on probation to become white. I'm not on probation. I don't know what you talk about. Who okay, gave you authority? I'm putting you on probation. No, you can't put me on probation, my dear. Put you on probation. No, I'm not on probation. Anybody, I'm anybody. white. Anyway, so the, so you, you know, need to retract that. That's a, that's an insult to me you. because you're not at the UN. You're place. not at any of these things. You're not we at the not, UN. We have not been out of slavery long enough. Oh, I'm out of slavery. Look at them and say, here's we. Because we're all in the same boat. No, we're not. I'm white. I'm indigenous. Oh, no, not yet. Yo, not yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm not your brother because my, 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 my people now? are white and indigenous. What rights do you have now that I don't have? I have all the rights going, going from the UN and on down. So again, again, I want to know why is it that you want, what are you wanting to talk to me about? I'm not getting this. You're not. I'm just, I don't like playing games and this all seems like a game to me. And that's all I'm trying to say. What is it that we're going to get from the certificate that we're going to go through all the procedures at step eight? I've already answered that question, so, what you're and, going and to get. Are we going to get a chance to get a certificate and go to Turtle Island, or what's the outcome? You're already on Turtle Island. I've told you that four times okay, already. So if you can't too, get, if you can't outcome? figure that out, I can't help so, you then. Once you get the blacks to realize that they're no longer black, what is the big prize at the end? To get the certificate and get your status changed? Then what? You're still going to be in slavery? Even though they take the black out of your name, they're still going to be treating you like a dog. So well, if that's what you believe, I can't help that. That's your okay. perception. With this new status of being white, what is there... I've already answered that question on Weekly Address number 47. Get, look, in my tribe, I can get a membership card. I that's your tribe. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Because I may, I, may I may trump your trump. I get it. I get it. I can go to the powwow and I can sit and smoke the peace fight. That don't matter because they'll, because these Native Americans still look at you as a Negro. Uh -huh. oh, they no, don't no, accept they don't. you. No, they won't because my father, my grandfather is shame. They know who the chief is, okay? I'm a Bohemian chief and they know he's the chief. They can trace him in his. Place. And your point is. My point is, I can go to the tribal settings and powwows, get a membership card that allows me to go to all of their ritualistic ceremonies. Are they Bureau of Indian Affairs? I can get my medical taken care of. Are they Bureau of Indian Affairs? I can get my medicine. Are they Bureau of Indian Affairs? A hundred percent. Okay. And student loan forgiven completely. And if I have children that want to go to college, sign them up, they go to college. Are they Bureau of Indian I'm Affairs? I'm talking about some benefit, man. What are you talking about? 
Are they Bureau of Indian Affairs? It doesn't matter what they call You're not them. answering the question, so by know. you refusing to answer, I don't know. I well, can't. you need to find that out. Here's what I'm saying. Where's your benefits? If you say, give me your poor, what you going to give to them by changing their name? I didn't say about give me your poor. I'm seeking the living amongst the dead. Blacks out of the pot and into the skillet now. So what are you going to give them? An ID card? Can you issue them an ID card with that? Well, if you can't see what I've given them, then you're really not getting no, this. I'm answering the real question. I Please, just answered it. Your brother said, wait a minute, sister. I can go over here to the power wall. And, and who's the brother that, that you will, are that you're fighting so adamantly no, not to reveal? I go and talk to my brothers and say, come on, we're going to fill out the extra. Then that's fine. Do you. What, what, are you, what are you coming over to me for then? You got to have some programs and some benefits, bro. Whatever. And you think what I do you don't? Fine. Okay, so you do you it's then. American all this time, and we ain't got no benefits. Here they talk about giving some real benefits when you set your nation up. Who's they? I don't know who you talk. Who you making reference the Indians to? Bureau. The Indians Bureau at the Seminole Indians Bureau. Yeah, they're Bureau of Indian the Affairs. They are Bureau slaves Indian of the Affairs. U.S. government. Right. That's what but they but are. But they still talk about some benefits. <laughs> <laughs> So you want to be a slave with benefits. You can have a That's what you just said. That's what you're saying. Where your student loan gets forgiven. And if you want to attend any college. Slaves with benefits. Go to college. And your children can go. Slaves with benefits. Forgiven, but I'm asking you again. Slaves with benefits. Are you given with, with this nation? Slaves with benefits. That's what you're okay, getting. I'm asking you what benefits. I've already answered your question. I don't know any of them. Other than I can live on Turtle Island. And I'm already there. Okay, if you don't know what freedom is and what freedom means, no, I can't no, help no. you. What, what do you mean? Freedom. Okay, come on now. Because I just answered that. Only when you get ready to recruit these people, they're going to ask you to run down the benefits. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not recruiting anybody. You, you got say, this all wrong. You say, go get your standing and fill out your SF. Uh, 181. Yeah, and we're telling people to come on our webinar so this way I can make sure that it's done properly. I can certificates as the college professor, as an adjunct. Better believe my signature better be worth something. So when they take their signature over to the state, they can register. I just told you that already. People are having no problem. I've got people have already used my indigenous standing process certificate in court cases here overseas. To prove what? That, that, they are not a, that they are not black? To prove that they're indigenous. Because mm -hmm. you got to have what? Standing out law. Okay, so what does that tell in the court? That they can hear their, uh, their case? Because, yeah, exactly that. They have standing out law. Okay, so you're telling me, in other words, they're going in there and they're saying, now you got to treat me different because I have the certificate. Yeah. <laughs> Different in what way? Because they're going to say, we've always gave you justice. No, because you haven't read the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. You haven't read the American Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. You haven't read the program of activities for the UN International Decade for People of African Descent. You haven't talked about Pope Francis. Uh, Pope Francis was the one that said, I encourage the downtrodden to change the world economic order, which is what we're doing in compliance and acceptance of Pope Francis's statement, which is on my certificate. Next, well, you know, that might be a welcome, welcome addition if they can go in the courtroom. And it's get not an if. Status. We've already but, we've already established but, a precedent. I don't have to prove anything to you. Already been overturned. You cannot re uh, invent those cases in the court of law. In any event, what is it that you are? What, what is it no, that you I'm want? Listening. I'm still trying to find out. The extracurriculum benefits that you have attached. Come on the webinar and find out. I'm not giving, I've already given you more than enough information. No, I've spent more I'm than enough time you, with you. You are perpetrating fraud when you say you have Oh, I'm perpetrating fraud. No, I'm just saying, you, you, you keep saying you can't have your own nation, but you have to come join my nation. Yes. You must tell the people that they can form a nation. They can't. And they can't have a trust. I said all of them have to come to Asakata. We're the only ones that's hitting the hard stuff on the international scene. Period. That's non-negotiable. I challenge any chief think, out there that hears this to disprove me. What makes you think that, that you're the only international nation? I lived internationally for five years. Did, have you, you written the poem? I have 
Oh, have you written the Pope? Have you written the Pope? I'm saying, just like you got Hold on a second. Pope. Have you written the Pope? What standing does a Pope have to do? Did you with just that? answer the damn question? No, <laughs> have I'm you written like, the Pope? I'm just saying it. I don't like that. Answer the question. The king set up their own nation. Have you them. written the Pope? But it doesn't make sense that you would be the only nation with all these other Indians around here. All these other Indians are domestic. They're slaves. No, they know it. Not all, not all of them. Yes, they all are. You know what? What I'm trying to tell you is they have jinxed you to make you think that you're the only international... They family. haven't jinxed me no. nothing. I got my ancestors right back here on the wall. Don't they ain't jinxed I got nothing. Mine here too? Don't you think I got my here as a priestess? I'm, I'm, seeing a, I'm seeing a kitchen sink behind you. Well, that's good. You can see a kitchen sink all you want to see. Uh, just because you got those pictures there, they're just images. That's yes. Because, see, my, my images come through the screen on you. <laughs> <laughs> you just, like, you have a, where's your, where's your husband at? <laughs> Don't make me have to call him over here to get you. <laughs> so he need you, hey, you need to, I'm serious. Yeah, you need to get, he need to get you, get your wife. I'm gonna tell your wife on you because I know you cut up today. I'm gonna tell her you cut up and you're not telling the people their benefits, and that's the problem. We have not known our benefits of the past. That benefits are for slaves. Benefits. benefits are for slaves. Our yes. ancestors never were concerned with benefits. So you okay. wanna be a slave so my, with benefits. My ancestors weren't slaves. They were descendants of slaves. Because uh being that they came from the French and from the African they were not slaves. They were passing some of them, working in the big house. And they knew this. And I got a chance to meet some of them and talk to them about it. Because they, they were already indigenous to this land. Because they were Native Americans. All right. So, so, there, so now I'm going to put an end to this because you're not really getting at anything. Okay, well, with here's here. what I'm going to do to bring some closure. I just wanted to know the line of benefits. Uh, that was available for signing up under the Turtle Island tribe. Freedom. And wanted to know if Free there were other people out here that might have been out here going for the international status just like yourself. And not so now. To explain to someone else, like I said, well, these are the benefits we're going to get. No, they have to come on the webinar. For, no they got to come on the webinar and have standing first. And the benefit you're going to get is freedom, and freedom is infinite. Okay, now, when you say you can go in the courtroom, I can go in the courtroom now with the lawyer. I have plenty of friends that are lawyers. I can go in there with them. Yeah, and do your lawyers, do the lawyer friends that you know tell you black has no standing at law? Oh, yeah, I already knew that. Okay, okay. so then why aren't you telling the people that? I, I've been knowing that. Why aren't and you telling the people that? I, so you're guilty. So you're you know, guilty. Some of my lectures, you'll see. No, I, I haven't seen any of your lectures. Oh, yeah. I don't see you putting it. I don't see you putting. I don't see you devoting a, a one of your YouTube videos. Devote a YouTube video. Devote. No, no. I'm saying devote a YouTube. Give me the link. You got my email address. Sherelle, just plug Sherelle. No, I'm not gonna plug Sherelle. Give me the link of you saying black has no standing at law. you go on. I'm not going on nothing. I got stuff to do. Okay, like I'm saying that. I've been out there for over over ten years. Okay? And you still haven't told yeah. black people that black has no that's standing that's at true. law. That's so you guilty. I am one of their heroes, and they know I've been sticking to them. All I'm saying is that I wanted to know in all of your documentation, do you have a list of the benefits you will obtain from getting the status and being a part of this? Membership? You, I already explained that in weekly address number forty-seven, and I just told you that that's again. Maybe what I want to do because I. I Mountain, then that's don't right. bother. Then this saying. isn't for you then. But but anyway, when I get some time and if I can attend one of your meetings on Tuesday, I will try to do that. Well, hear what? I'll do you a favor. I'll take so you off the list. All about? I'll was take it? you off the list because this what clearly is not music? for you. What was that music all about that you said? Now, that was irrelevant. What was that about? Pardon? The, <laughs> I was said. Uh, an attachment with music where they actually took some of your lyrics and they added on there and say this is what they're doing, they're making music. So what was that about? 
Oh, you don't need to worry about that. That's for white people only. Well, I am so glad that I'm not white because uh, I did understand some of the, uh, the actual uh, remote words that were called out and it made a lot of sense because I, I know that it, words are, are meaningful. Anyway, All right, so I'll do you a favor, Cheryl. I'll have you taken off the list because this clearly you know, isn't for you. Whatever you want to do, but either way, you keep sending me emails about. Oh no, I'll be. I will make sure my administration doesn't put you on the list. You can be guaranteed. I guarantee you that. It's not a problem. I just thought that I don't jump into any group until I know what I'm jumping. No into. problem. Keep doing your research. Doing that because most people are led like sheep to a slaughter, and I just want to make sure I know what I'm talking about. Agre ag agreed. Okay. All right. Oh, tap. Oh, double. White power.